Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Farah and I am back with the new episode of Amazon product research series. Please subscribe to this channel if you're interested in selling on Amazon. This is what we talk about on here every week and hit the bell to be notified uh, when I post a new video. Today's episode was very special and exciting because I share with you my uh, method of finding products and I use Jungle Scout to do this. Before we get into the tutorial, I just wanted to point out that this uh, applies to mainly online uh, arbitrage or retail arbitrage, uh, which in simple words means uh, stocks and goods, stocks or goods that you find um, online or in other retailers and a, a big price difference and you can buy it from those retailers and resell it for a profit online on Amazon. So obviously the catch here is that those products that you find with the price difference need to be actually in high demand on Amazon for you to be, for, for it to be worthwhile for you. So what we're going to do in today's video is we are going to use Jungle Scout to find um, retail arbitrage opportun opportunities on Amazon. And in the later part of the video, I am going to show you how to source those products and find suppliers. I prefer to work with um, wholesalers or distributors, but if uh, you cannot get in with those, then um, the other option is you get in with trade suppliers and that will do as well. The point is to get um, the prices as low as possible. Remember, finding a product that's selling really fast on Amazon is half the work. The other important bit, the other hustle is to find and source those products in time, in season, and then be able to sell those on Amazon for a profit. If you want to learn more about how to sell on Amazon, how to start and scale on Amazon, then watch this video. Link will be in the description below. So let's start. Um, I will be using Jungle Scout and it's a great tool for researching products on Amazon. Please use the link below in description and you can get 30% off your subscription and it will support the channel. This is um, Jungle Scout and um, let's go into the pricing. It's a really good tool for product research and I highly recommend it. Um, so this is the plan I'm currently on and it's if if you don't plan on starting selling loads um, it allows you to do 20 product searches per month and you can track three products and the same way you can do 20 supply database searches which uh, for retail arbitrage is not that great so you wouldn't really need it and 20 searches in keyword scout but other than that it um I think just to start your Amazon product research journey, I think this is a great package to start with, with um, $19 per month. So I'm happy to use that. And so if once you've installed this correctly and you've signed up, you will arrive at this um, homepage. Um, so this is the product um, finder part of Strongbull Scout and what we're going to do is we are going to go into a product database and um, I've already run two searches for you guys um, and I'm just going to show you and I found a couple of really good products so I'm going to do this for, uh, from scratch with you guys again. So if you just set the filters correctly they're all um, this is the default setting that it comes with. So the first thing you want to change is the marketplace. Uh, obviously, we want to look on United Kingdom only. And the second thing you want to set is um, obviously this is um, my uh, my way of going about it. I want to know um, what products Amazon is selling, what brands Amazon is selling. So I'm gonna. I, I particularly want to see this and I also want to know which uh, products they are out of stock in because that presents an opportunity for me to source those products, source those brands. 
um, and it could be a good opportunity for me uh, to find products for retail arbitrage. So that's why this particular uh, filter setting is for that purpose. And then uh, another one of my rules is I want to um, not look at products which are uh, the minimum price, retail prices, lower than 20. I'm not interested because um, for for the amount of effort it's going to take me to source the products and um, uh, research and I want to make um, at least um, you know a decent four to five pounds or two to five pounds of profit on each piece in, on each unit so that's why I and obviously uh, we're going for retail arbitrage so it's not it's going to cost a bit more um, uh, so that's one of my assumptions and the maximum price I want to set it at £50. Right, so once these filters are set, now I am going to select the, the categories. You can select multiple categories, but um, just for the sake of this video, I am just going to select uh, and start with garden, uh, garden and outdoors because um, we're in the middle of summer in um, UK and there is still quite a lot of opportunity there because of the lockdown, people are still at home. Add another filter to this and I am not interested in the sales rank. Max sales rank should be 100. I want to look at top um, 100 best selling items. So I'm going to do add this filter and then see. Oh, here we are. So we've got the search results and it's, um, I am going to sort this now by sales rank because we already, we already put the filters in with regards to price. So uh, not very volume cheap selling products are not showing anyway um and we want to see okay so that was descending order okay this is ascending so that's that's really good um now once you have this data it's just a game of looking at each um at each listing it's showing you each product is showing you and going on to Amazon page and seeing what opportunity you see, see there. But for, for this purpose, I want you to work work that out yourself based on um, uh, the budget you're um, willing to spend. So if, say, if you just had a hundred pounds or 200 or up to 500 pounds, you just had a little bit of money to put in retail arbitrage, uh, hustle around, get those products and put on, put them on sale on the listings that are already made, you would be able to convert your hundred pounds to maybe 150 pounds and earn some profit. Um, so let's look at these products. So obviously monthly revenue for this particular Roundup Fast Action Weed Killer is at 41K and the monthly sales are at 1800 units roughly per month and the sales rank is eight and keep bear in mind that these are the products that you're not just going to find in um, an average supermarket you will have to go to a specialist um, a garden center or um, to a DIY B&Q type of place to find these products for consumers and wait in queues in the current scenario so people are more likely to order these online for these products so let's start with looking at these on amazon's um website and here you can see so this is got amazon's choice um label and i i have a feeling amazon has got this in stock but let's just go in and see in this area oh of course and amazon is not beat is not competing on price amazon is the third um 
third option, the cheapest option is obviously £19 by this seller. But I, I most likely I think Amazon is winning the buy box most of the time because they're offering Prime a del delivery guarantee of uh, delivery within two days or one day, depending on the product. So um, this is just one product. Now, the other thing you need to look at is um, I would I would preferably go for products that Amazon is not in stock of to be honest because I don't want to be competing um, usually Amazon does compete on price but at this maybe the the volume is so high because of the sales rank you can assume that these are practically flying out of their shelves that they are willing to um, uh, you know give some buy box wins to some other sellers um, <clears throat> So let's look at, because the other aspect of this research is how are you going to source those products? And I'm going to address that in just a second, but I just want you to go through maybe one or two more uh, products. Um, let's look at this hose lock um, rectangular sprinkler. The, the monthly sales are 931 units. If you were to divide that per day, that's that's still huge amounts of sales going per um, per day, and and the sales rank is number nineteen, so it's still in top hundred. So it seems like a good product. So let's open this and let's see how many sellers have got this in stock. Uh, Ten. Okay. So there is two places. Um, okay, so you can see that there is there are people fulfilling this too, and people are going up to like really high prices too. So take the the title of the product and throw that in Google. I already copied that in and ran the search for you. And <clears throat> what you will find is, obviously, we want to ignore the retailers. We want to find either trade suppliers or we want to find, um, you'll have to go through this list one by one and see. So there is obviously this place called Tool Station. And you want to make a note of the prices. Um so including VAT price is £17.48. Okay, make note of that. Uh, people are selling this for £30. Um, so it's almost nearly doubling up, close to that. Um, and you have to obviously bear in mind that you would uh, be... You have to pay Amazon's uh, fees commissions too and if you are going to do fba that's going to cost you extra so you want to bring the price as low down as possible let's look at um who else is coming up i run another search with um garden tools trade supplier and and i added the brand name in that's hose lock and for that, you are seeing a um, couple of different options coming up. Let's look at Wix. That's um, okay. So here, they you want to put in that um, you want to copy this again and drop that in here and see if this product comes up there are no no results um no thanks um okay let me just check it is the same product 180 square meters um Oh, it's slightly bigger. It's 200 square meters. Okay. So you, you'll have to keep looking. You find what you can. 
what what if we did a reverse search so we can find this and we can't find 180 square meters but we can find the next size up so let's see if we were to how is that doing okay that's in stock there's a listing for that too and available from these suppliers and the price is a little bit higher let's have a look okay some of the main suppliers are there and amazon is not there there you go we have hit, well, not gold mine, but you know, it's it's fairly good profit. Wix have the next size up. The They don't have the 180 square meters, but they have the 200 square meters and you are getting it a very good price of 18 pounds. And you can, okay, let's close this. You can sell this for at up to 32 that's the minimum price and go up to even 48 98 and what do you think these people are doing they are doing exactly what we discussed I'm cutting in but i had to jump in and just say how cool is that that we found the trifecta a ready-made listing with reviews and the cherry on the top was Amazon was not a seller on that listing. Amazon was out of stock. This is exactly what I was looking for. I also showed you how to find a supplier for this product, improvise uh, and reverse search, which I think is a really cool thing. Let's get back to it now. I just wanted to quickly talk about the fees um, and the prices. And Jungle Scout has this feature um, where the price is displayed. You will see there's an FBA profit calculator and then there's a fee breakdown. So if you just wanted to know what possible fees you might be paying, um, if you were to go um, a fulfillment route, um, which means sending your um, stock to Amazon and they fulfill the orders for you, then these are the expected uh, estimations of the fees. So you can use this to calculate your profit. And if you wanted uh, to use their calculator, it's just on... Um, underneath the price um, so just add your product cost in here um, from whichever source just add this here and then you will be able to get an, a decent estimation on what um, what fees you will be paying to Amazon uh, what's the RRP is on um, the website at the moment so um, it'll give you a good indication of what um, costs you can expect so another interesting product i found was this cupernol garden shades um buckets of paint so this is a 2.5 liter one and it had a good sales rank i opened this up and um i let's see if we can find the supplier or you know find this to sell anywhere online and i ran a search and what i found was I found the same same size and at this store B and B and M stores um, and at fifteen pounds. So this is obviously a, another retailer, but if you were to if you were be able to find um, a cuprinol, is it wholesale? UK store finder check out Wix check out home base but if you were be able to find um, that's the brand page let's just search for this one oh more expensive definitely okay so this is a one liter and that's going at eleven pounds. Um, you could reverse search this one, a two point five liter one. Again, this is a different shade. But what you want to do is keep looking for, keep looking for suppliers where you can find the lowest possible cost price for yourself. So ideally, um, 
not retailers, but if you cannot get in with any um, wholesaler, look at this one. Now, they do seem to have Cuprinol products, but I think they need you to be registered to display the price. So this seems like a legit wholesaler, Welsh and Tidy, hardwarewholesale.co.uk. Oh, they, let's see what else do they sell. I mean, there's, you can see the departments on the side. If you were to be able to get in, uh, as you could research a lot of products, reverse research a lot of products from here on Amazon, find their sales rank and see, you know, if you can find some products. It's, it's not an easy process, but it can pay off really well in the long run. Okay, so I ran a different search um, in a different category. I didn't change anything else. We're still on the same marketplace, still looking for Amazon being out of stock. For the sales rank, we want to make sure that it's no more than 100 um, because that will ensure that, um, you know, we're getting products that are actually selling. So obviously the first products that are coming up, um, these are water filter cartridges. So I already ran a search for them. Um, Brita Cartridges Wholesale UK, that Brita is the brand. And this wholesaler came up, which I did open in another window. And uh, all it'll take you is you have to register with these um, wholesalers and then you'll be able to see the prices. And if you go into their homepage, they have they have um, they have all these different departments and they're a wholesaler in, uh, I just called them retailer previously. Uh, sorry about that, but it's, they are wholesalers and they're different kind of products. And, um, you could, they have, they might even have cuprinol like we discussed before at a lower price. So you need to get an, a trade account opened with these open new account, just put your application in and, um, just just see where you go from there once you get registered you can see the prices and start sourcing from them and you you would be able to reverse search a lot of these uh, brands that they stock in jungle scout or on amazon and see their best selling rank and uh, try to sort those products another product that's um, really high sales rank is this Velcro brand um, stick on tape roll, which I believe is probably something to do with the um, crafts. Obviously with the revenue you can see for each type of um, a color, it's, it's the black color, this is a beige one. For each type of product, you can see that there is a lot of sales happening for it. So it would be a great idea to source this. So I did a Google search for that and I found this supplier for it. This is what I typed Velcro brand wholesale UK and this what they were this wholesaler SCF supplies UK was just towards the end of the page one. And um, I added this is the one the 20 millimeter and uh, no actually it was this one 20 millimeter uh, and a 25 uh, 20 millimeter thick and a 25 meter long roll um, and in black color okay this is one I searched for and this is what I found and they have it in white or black um, and the price is £10.23 per roll I think it would be a roll but again you will and there are bulk discounts available. So however many units you buy, you will get a bigger discount. So for 20 or more units, you can get 12% off this price, which is a wholesale price anyway. But I would definitely get myself registered with these people so I can start sourcing these products and they are an authorized supplier. So they would you wouldn't have any problem selling this brand on Amazon. Uh, let's just open this up and see haberdashery so i think it's definitely something to do with crafts um but if you could buy 20 
or more units, you can get a very good low price and you would be able to sell it for a good profit margin. And Amazon's in stock, but you can match their price or cut, cut it by a penny. Um, but still, with the amount of sales that it's showing, it's definitely worth a try trying to get yourself registered with these suppliers. In fact, I'm going to try this out myself and uh, I would let you know how this goes. I'm so glad you made it to the end. Uh, I hope you found it useful. Uh, let me know what you think and uh, let's talk in the comments. I have made a little guide detailing all these steps uh, in a little PDF form. Uh, link is in the description below. Just download it and you can save it for use afterwards. Please watch this video to see why you should be listening to me at all. Don't forget to subscribe. It will mean so much to me to see your support and uh, see those subscriber numbers go up. Also, uh, lastly, uh, there was a huge spoiler in this video. I don't know if anyone of you have noticed it. If you have, um, let me know in the comments below what you think it is. I did accidentally uh, reveal one of my products, which I found using this exact method. So you guys, this works. Try it in any department and just use uh, the method that I've told you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in next week's video. Cheers.